All right, so the topic of the day is the spring uh, inside the, let me just put this down. There's a bunch of mosquitoes over here and they try to kill me. So the, the springs inside the rear brake. Uh, and the idol behind it is, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with uh, chain dragging. So that's why you're using a better high quality chain like uh, X-ring instead of O-ring. So it gives you a less friction so you can have a rear wheel roll easily. The one on the left is an X-ring, the one on the right is an O-ring, and you can see how much better is the X-ring is. One way to do it, and actually I have a chain right now on one of my Yamaha without a ring, so that's flying super easy. And uh, less friction means, you know, better engaging on, on power. You know, you can have a quicker throttle response down below, especially on two strokes. It matters. Uh, my opinion, the best chain, uh, from all the bikes, uh, the OEM Yamaha DID chain is, has, uh, you know, my 250 two-stroke, it has a little to no friction at all. I mean, that chain is something else, but it's extremely expensive. But anyway, um, so the idea behind it is to less friction, like, like I'm just saying 100 times already, and uh, so the wheel can roll easily. Uh, less friction include less heat, so when heat introduced, the material expand and even creates more friction. And uh, when I'm racing, uh, I always see after my race, my rear rotors are black, literally, because it's just so close, you know, I mean, it's just pretty much sliding, uh, the brake pads sliding on the rotor all the time. So by the spring, the the brake pads can be like a millimeter away from from the rotor, which is good thing. So there we are. Now we achieved something what uh, creates less friction. But the downsides with that, a lot of comment on on my post, social media post. I mean, huge amount of comment, and some of them was quite educated, and, uh, and they said uh, there is dirt can go in and ruin my brake pads. And uh, if the gap was huge, then you're probably right. Uh, the gap is little and it still can have that. I'm only have this on for a week. So this is like a short term testing. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna play out on the long term. But as of right now, I don't notice. So the reason why the, the, the brake pads are so close to have an instant braking. I don't see any difference, you know, I don't feel any difference. I ride like three, four times a week. So I would notice if there is something different or, or even worse, definitely notice that. But there is, you know, no problem with that. Uh, the braking is just spot on, like it's always has been. And uh, the dirt getting in there, if you are in, you're riding in a muddy condition, yes, possibility, you still can get in there and wear your brake pads out, but so as, uh, the rotor, rotor sliding on the brake pads. So the rotor itself gonna get wear that and the brake pads. And I mean, for me, uh, I never had this problem. I never changed the brake pads out because it was weared out. I changed it to upgrade it for a better quality, not because it was weared out. And I rode 50, 60 hours on the bike, not much more than that, but uh, you know, no problems with brake pads. Uh, if you guys have a, long-term uh, review or thoughts on how long as it takes for the brake pads to wear out and change you know maybe 100 hours on the back leave it on the comment let me know i don't know i never never see a, a weird brake pads you know i just it's just something where i never came across it but yeah so right now i'm using a stainless steel spring uh i actually played with the stiffness so this is stronger than the average spring but not too strong so only i'm gonna leave you the the exactly details down in the description but it's just strong enough to be able to push the the brake pad back about a millimeter so that's all i need you know and and for what it is it works and it, it does the job like i said this is the short term uh, we need to find out how it's gonna play that for the long term that's it.
I'm gonna go back to ride. Yeah. Mm -hmm.